Hi everyone, I'm the Boston Potter. As they would say in Boston, let's get started. Hi everyone, this is a uh, video, I'm gonna show you a quick video of how to do some uh, backgrounds. Just, you know, uh, something that you can use as a background that isn't so plain, so. And it's a little technique. Um, this one I'm gonna show you, this here, this first tile, this is a, um, it's just a bisque tile and it's covered with um, green acres. I know it doesn't look like green acres because green acres is very dark in the bottle, but when it dries, it dries like this until it's fired. So I'm gonna take, because this is a lot lighter, this key lime pie, and I'm gonna squeeze some key lime pie out here. And now I'm gonna put this on, and I'm just gonna show you one, one background that's very simple to do. So I'm gonna cover it with this um, key lime pie. Now, in order to do that, you gotta cover it kinda of thick, you gotta put it on thick, and, cause you want it to stay wet. You want it to stay wet when you do this, otherwise it doesn't work very well. So before it dries, so if you put it on kinda of heavy, it will dry quicker. I mean, it, will, it won't dry quicker actually, but if you put it on kind of heavy, it will stay wet longer is what I meant to say. So you're gonna put it on pretty heavy like this. You're almost blobbing it on. You're brushing it, but you're kind of, you know, like I said, it's gonna be heavy, so. I'm gonna squirt out a little bit more. So now this is a background that kind of looks neat that you can do with a comb, which is sort of like this one. It has the little edges on it. Now, if I do this with the comb, I could take the comb and I could start up here and I could wave it all the way down so that the green is gonna show underneath. Now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna wipe it off on a paper towel and now I'm gonna do it on this side. It'll show the green underneath. You don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to take the green up. Now you will see the green underneath here. It's going to be shades of green. Now if you don't have a comb, I mean you don't have one of those combs, you can use this little just a pick. And now on the, I'm going to go across this way now on here with the pick. And I'm going to go straight instead of, and I'm going to go right through that other side just to show you this. So as you can see, it's making a different design over here. So these are just different ways you can just make a background and kind of make it a little bit fancier than just a plain. Now, if you want, you can write something down the center. Uh, you see how easy that is. And you see what this did over here just by going over those other lines. So just using different tools to just go across and it, when you when you see it like this, it makes you want to do it again. Like I now I want to just go down here. Just because you just want to keep going with it. But anyway, that's anyway, this is what you do. I'll fire it and show you what it looks like fired because you're gonna see underneath that you'll have different shades of green. But like I said, you gotta do it while it's still wet. So you can't wait till it starts to dry and then do it. Like it's already drying now in some areas then it won't go through as good. It's a lot easier to do when it's wet. And that's about it for that one. 